Okay, for this video, I want to quickly talk about the idea of doing a base font and then also how the style links a little differently. Um, yeah, so let's look at this. Um, so right now we, we select our H1s and our H2s and made them have a font family of Verdana and play around with whatever fonts you want. But what if I want to change the font of the paragraphs and the list items? So I could do similar, the grouping selector, right? Go select all P tags, select all LI tags, or LI elements, and go font family, let's go Arial maybe. All right, so Arial, and the, if you can't find Arial, do Helvetica and then Sans Serif. And that's just the default, and ta-da, that works. Okay, and that's, and that's okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm okay with that. But um, another way to do this would be to just actually select the body. And I'm gonna, Put that up here, and actually, if I hit save, yeah, see it auto formats that prettier fixes the brackets and stuff for me too. So this is the idea of having a base font. So if I got rid of this H1, H2, oh, I haven't taught you this yet. I hit Control forward slash, and that is called a, a comment. It basically comments this out. I didn't want to delete it. I just want to comment it out so it doesn't apply. Um, and then you hit Control forward slash again to uncomment it. Okay, and, and these slash star, star slash are how you do comments in, in CSS. You don't have to do the, the, you can actually just do it manually, slash star and then star slash to end the comment. Um, but the control forward slash is kind of nice. So what you'll notice now is that this, this font family of Arial applies to everything in the body, right? The headings, the paragraphs, the lists, all of that stuff. All right, so even though right now the font family is Arial, because this H1, H2 comes after the body, and it's more specific of a selector, the font family Verdana will override the Arial font, and it will become Verdana now. But the paragraphs and LIs and everything else are going to be that font family. So this is the way that we can kind of set a base font that everything inside the body should use that font. Um, or most elements, there's some weird exceptions, but most elements would use this as the base font. Okay, I think we'll leave the H1 as a maroon, and yeah, this looks fine. The next thing I wanted to talk about was this link. Now, the default style on a hyperlink, right, the, that A tag right here, the default style is to be underlined and blue, or if we visited the site before, it has kind of the purple, right? If I had never gone to this Walmart site before, it would show as, as blue. Um, but we can change that. I, I don't like those default styles. I can say I'm going to select all of my A tags, and I'm gonna change them to have a color of, let's go maroon actually as well. So that's a color of maroon, and I actually don't want the underline. So that's text decoration. And what's kind of cool of all the CSS properties, if you start typing stuff, you get all these options, right? So I'm gonna just go text alignment. There's all sorts of things we can do. So text decoration, I'm actually gonna go none. And that gets rid of the default underline that it comes with, right? So. But, but without the underline there, I want it to be a little more obvious that this is a link. So what might be cool is I can actually do a, uh, a pseudo selector, it's called pseudo like this, um, where I do a colon and then hover. And this basically just says, this is the style for the hyperlink or the anchor tag by default. But when I hover over this A tag, then I want to go text decoration underline. And now, see, now when you hover over it, the underline shows up. And you can do all sorts of different stuff. You could change the color to blue when you hover over top of it, right? Like change the font size, the font family. So let's try that one, font size of 40 pixels. What? Huge. Hey, don't do that. Anyway, so you can play around with that. And, and in fact, this hover state works on anything. I can go H1 hover. Sorry, H1 hover and go color blue. Let's do that. All right, you hover over it, goes blue. Okay, but it makes the most sense here for our A tag to show that, hey, something changed. There's some action that you can do here. Okay, uh, that's it for this video. I think in the next one, we'll start looking at uh, giving a little bit of a background and laying it out a bit better. Okay, hope that made sense. Take care and we'll see you next video.